Hey, everybody, a few things to share with you this morning on the Ash Flash. Of course, this is the essence of the Ash Flash is this kind of post because this is the kind of thing I'm doing all the time. And I come across a lot of really useful information. And in this case, and I want to share it with you, Substack, again, is where the Ash Flash has moved because it makes that job so much easier and allows me to continue to build my email list. If you're a small business owner and you're looking to grow your email list, use Substack. There are a lot of reasons for that. I'm not going to get into all of them now. So this one, like what I came across this morning was the most expensive states to die in. And of course, this is on my mind because what I do right now in my day job as a regional director for Golden Considerations is that we're a pre-need insurance broker. So we help funeral homes with the products and services and strategies, and marketing and everything they need to sell you your funeral in advance so that you can save on some of these costs. These are insane, some of these costs. So what this article did is it shows you the top 10, or no, I'm sorry, the most expensive states to die in, and it's ranked. So they go through some of the top ones, which you shouldn't let scare you. There are a couple of numbers I'm going to share with you next that are important. One thing that I found interesting, because I'm from Wisconsin, if you hover over the states, and the link to this article is included with this post, so you can check out this information in more detail. And then there's a couple numbers I want to point out, and then I'm going to leave it at that. If you're interested in pre-planning your funeral and you have questions or you, you know, you're curious about something, just let me know. I don't post about this topic all the time on the Ash Flash. I'm going to create a different substack for that, for that part of my life and work and business. But for now, I do like to share some of this stuff here because I think it does help people think about this. This is a really important thing you want to think about doing is planning your funeral in advance. It solves a lot of problems all at once. So Wisconsin ranks number 11. And the way they did this was not just with the funeral costs, but with the end of life. Oh, it's listed up here. Um, medical expenses related to the end of life and other expenses related to the end of life. And here is what gets into the essence of what I want to get across to you today, which is and whether you're thinking about this for yourself or your family or you're a funeral homeowner and you're thinking about how do I get more people interested in doing this so that it, you know they can get it taken care of, there are so many things that you're not thinking of right now that are factored into when you die. I've just been through it three times in the last month with two humans and one pet, and it's you know a lot of stuff that has to happen. And, and, and there are a lot of ways that we can help you in my company, and we can help the funeral home help you, but I'm not getting into all that now. I just want you to know and remember that there's a lot of stuff. And here's the one question that you need to answer. It's a really important question. If something, God forbid, happened to you today, you walk out the door to go shovel the snow in your driveway and you get hit by a snow plow and you're dead. Is everything taken care of in your life? Is every last detail of your life taken care of? Most of the time, especially if you're like a 55 year old guy like me, the answer to that question is no, it's not. You might have some of the things you might have life insurance. You might have, you know, you might have a few of those things, but you generally don't have it all under control. You want to get it all under control. It makes things so much easier for your family when you die. When you die, the funeral and everything that comes next is not about you anymore. It's about the people that are left behind and what they have to deal with, what they have to pick up and organize, and what you can do to make that process so much easier for them and make sure everything is taken care of. So Wisconsin ranks number 11. Now, I just want to go back up because I don't want this to scare you away, but but I, but I want this to reinforce the point that planning your funeral in advance is huge, okay? The average cost of a funeral, according to the, the uh, National Funeral Directors Association, is $7,736. Now, your first reaction to that is like, what? I mean, and, and then you come down, you look at some of these top states, the most expensive state to die in, the mean, in is it Alaska, where the median funeral cost is $9,300. Now, in our business, in Golden Considerations, where we work with agents and funeral homes to plan your funerals in, in advance, we see the average funeral contract more around 4000 So it just depends on what you want and what you need and what you decide to do. And you can spend $25,000 if you want to. Spend as much as you want to or don't want to, but arrange the stuff in advance because it makes a huge difference. Because you can see these numbers are insane. Now, just to give you an idea of how powerful this can be, and this is dramatic, and I'm going to see if I can pull this up now without derailing my entire presentation, is because I came across today on Facebook, and those aren't coming up now, no. 
came across on Facebook this morning an old receipt for a funeral. And I'll share the image of the receipt. I want to block out the funeral home's name. It's from one of my new partners in Illinois. And uh, what's interesting about it is, and I don't know if it's, maybe it's showing up here and then I'm just not going to worry about it, but I don't think it is because I think I have to do something to show you a new window. It's a receipt. It's an old receipt. They were just sharing for fun. They were cleaning up and they found that it's from 1962. Is that what that says? 1962. It's a handwritten receipt. The casket cost was $88. The vault was $108. The embalming service was $75. The whole entire thing was $370. That's it. Now, that's a dramatic example, but if you had pre-planned your funeral back then, you would have saved yourself a ton of money. So keep all that in mind, that even today, even 15 years from now, there were other numbers in this article, and I'm not going to try and find them now because I don't want to distract all of us, where um, they were, in order for Forbes to create this analysis, they had to do some, you know, some math and, and calculate rates of inflation and things like that. And in one case, something went up by like, I think it was the average funeral cost went up by like $600 in one year or a couple of years. So if, if you plan your funeral today, even, and you go 10 years, and let's just say it's $500 a year, that's five grand, man. That's five grand. You're going to save your family. And go have a nice party at your expense when you're gone or going to, I don't know, anything, but dump that extra $5,000 into your funeral. That's ridiculous. Plan your funeral in advance. Read this article. It's super interesting, super informative. Thanks for tuning in on the Ash Flash. I hope you become a subscriber. Take care, everybody.